Hey guys, Jason Simpson here. Wanted to take a minute to share with you something quite amazing that happened to me last November. Uh, I don't know if you believe in miracles, if you believe in God. Um, I don't know, but I'm a believer in Jesus Christ, and God's been showing me some really amazing things, things that are scriptural, experiences that uh, Christians can experience even today. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to tell you what happened, and hopefully it'll bless you and encourage you. So last November, I was out of town working at another location for my company and was there all week. When uh, Thursday rolled around, I got off work that evening and went back to my hotel room <clears throat> and was just getting ready to go out and uh, go out to eat that evening. And so as I, was, as I was considering where I wanted to eat, I felt like God said, go to Applebee's. So um, I pull out my phone, pull up uh, locations that are near me, and there's like three. So as I'm looking at them, I felt like God said, go to B location. And so I'm like, okay. Um, not sure if it's God, but I feel like it is. So I'm like, I'm going to entertain this and see what happens. Uh, maybe there's a divine appointment that I'm going to meet with somebody and pray for them or they're going to pray for me. I don't know. But anyway, so <clears throat> I decided I'm going to go to B location at Applebee's. And as I finish getting ready, a name comes into my mind. And I'm going to change the name for this video just because I don't know if this lady would want me sharing this uh, publicly, but I'm just going to say her name was Laura. But um, the name Laura pops into my mind. And in my mind's eye, I see a lady with black hair and a ponytail. And so I'm really getting interested and intrigued at this point to know, you know, if this is God or this is just my imagination. So <clears throat> as I'm walking out the door, um, one more bit of information just came into my mind and I felt like God said to me, something's going on with her sister. There's, there's a struggle, there's a battle, there's something um, going on with her sister that she needs prayer for. <clears throat> and so... Um, I drove to Applebee's, the B location, and I walked in, and immediately as I'm waiting to be seated, I'm just looking around to see if there's any ladies there that fit that description with black hair and a ponytail, because I'm just assuming this is going to be my waitress, and um, but I, I don't see anybody that fits that description, so finally I'm seated and end up having a guy waiter, and I'm, I'm like, eh, you know, I'm kind of really second-guessing whether or not I had heard from God. And so I sat down and I placed my order, <clears throat> ate, finished my meal, excuse me. <clears throat> and, um, you know, I was, I, I felt like maybe I had been wrong about what I'd heard, but, but I decided I wasn't going to give up. I was going to press a little further. And so um, when my waiter came back, I, I decided I would just ask him if anybody worked there uh, by that name. And so he came back and I said, hey, um, does anybody work here by the name of Laura? And he's like, yeah, Laura works right over there in the, um, by the bar. And I, my heart just starts racing at that moment. I'm like, is this really happening? And I also know that I'm about to talk to this stranger and wondering if she's going to think I'm totally crazy. But anyway, I said, hey, can you tell her, um, that if she has time and would, it would be willing to come over to my table, I would like to talk to her. And so he said, sure. And so I waited for about another 20 minutes. <clears throat> and finally, this young lady walks over to my table and she has black hair and a ponytail. And she's smiling and but kind of, you know, reserved like, hi, what's going on? And so um, not really knowing what to say, I, I just said, hey, Laura, I know you don't know me. Um, and I'm just going to be straight up honest with you. This may sound a little strange, but when I was getting ready to go out to eat tonight, I felt like God told me to come to Applebee's, and specifically this location. And uh, he told me that there would be somebody there named Laura, and that she would have black hair and a ponytail. And also, um, I feel like he told me that there's something going on with your sister. And at this point, her eyes, had, you know, they're just kind of wide open, like, oh, my goodness. And we're both, oh, my goodness, I can't believe this is happening. But when I asked her about her sister, she was very surprised, and she said, yes. She said, um, there is a problem with my sister. And 
I said, well, listen, um, I, I just want to pray for you. I feel like God sent me here to pray for you and pray for your sister. Um, I said, if you want me to pray for you, uh, just, you know, say the word. And about that time, her manager came over and pulled her away. And um, I guess she had to go wait on her tables or whatever. Um, so I said, listen, I'll wait here until you're done if you want. And you can come back over here and I'll, I'll pray, pray for you. So I waited about another 20 minutes, and finally she came back over. And at this point, she had a grin from ear to ear. You could tell. She was, like, glowing. You could tell that she had been thinking about this and that she could, I'm sure she couldn't believe that God had sent some a total stranger there to pray for her and to pray for her sister. So she came and, and sat down in the booth right across from me, and... I said, you know, before I pray for you, Laura, I just want to make sure, first of all, that you know that God loves you very much. That's why he sent me here, and he loves your sister. And <clears throat> I said, I got to make sure you understand um, how you can know him personally. And so I shared the gospel. I shared Jesus with her um, and how to be saved, how to know God personally. And she told me, she said, you know what, I'm, I, I believe in God. She said, but... Um, uh, I even had asked my boss recently if he would let me off on Sundays so I could get back in church. And I said, that's awesome. You know, you're, you're definitely on the right track. And so <clears throat> um, she opened up about the, the situation with her sister. And um, her sister was going through some really difficult problems, struggles, um, getting in trouble and everything. And so I just felt God said that he's going to deliver her sister and that he was going to use Laura as an instrument um, to bring her out of the situation that she was in. So right there um, at the table, Laura reaches out her hands across the table to grab mine. Two strangers were sitting there, and she grabs my hands, <clears throat> and we could just sense the presence of God there. And I just started praying over her and praying over her sister, what I felt like God was telling me to say. And it was such a powerful moment. Um, when I finished praying, I knew that I couldn't keep her long because she was working, but um, <clears throat> she got up from the table, and she and I got up from the table, and she said, can I just hug you? And I'm like, absolutely. So we, we give each other a hug, and, and that was it, and I went my way. But I was so encouraged, and I, I, I was just so in awe that this just happened. I could hardly believe it, um, that God had given me this information about this woman, such detail, and <clears throat> it was a powerful moment so powerful that I, I decided the next day when I went back to my job um, that I was going to tell all the co-workers there what happened and I was going to share the gospel with them. And so I did the next morning, Friday morning. I went and gathered everybody together. And I said, guys, i got to tell you what happened last night. And then, and so I shared what I just shared with you guys. And I said, I want to pray for you. I want to bless you. I want to tell you about Jesus. And I shared the gospel. And so later that day, two, two other guys came to me personally and asked for prayer. And um, I was able to encourage them and share the gospel a little more in detail. But anyway, powerful moment. And I share that with, you, with all of you um, right now because, um, first of all, I want you to realize that God is still working miracles. He wants to use His people, people like you and me, just normal believers. He wants to pour his power, his love, his miracles into us, pour uh, through us, work through us. And so I want to encourage you to, to know that God is very real. God is very powerful and that he wants to use all of us to do such things. So seek those sort of moments. Ask God to work mightily and wonderfully through you as a believer. Um, but that's pretty much it, guys. I just hope you're encouraged by this. I hope it makes you think more about the goodness of God, that he loved Laura so much and me that he would allow us to be involved in such a moment. Two strangers coming together, holding hands, praying in the Spirit, um, and knowing that God was going to do something great in both of their lives. And Anyway, so that's it, guys. Um, hope you enjoy. Keep seeking God, and I'll talk to you later.